What's good, YouTube? It's your boy K Smooth bringing you another unbox video. I know I've been missing in action. I had uh, some family stuff going on where I had to take some time off, get myself together, but now I'm back bringing you that heat, bringing you them videos y'all been dying to see. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this video. As I said from the beginning, this is going to be an unboxing video brought to you by nobody else but the GOAT. Um, the shoes that's in this box, I'm pretty sure you done seen. They done made their way. It done made its way around the internet. You know, it's been around. It's been going in. If you haven't, you must have been under a rock. So uh, before I jump into the shoe that's in the box and we go over it and everything like that, let me tell you a little bit about it. See if y'all could guess the shoe that's in the box before I bring it out. Okay. Uh, this shoe here was designed by Tinker Hatfield. It was originally released in 1991. First made his debut in a NBA Finals game. So that right there should already tell you what it is. If you know, you know. I ain't got to say too much because you should. Uh, yes, if you guess correctly. Today, I am bringing you the UNC Jordan 6. You can see. Wow. I really like this box. Uh, I think it's the blue. The blue, really. The blue with the little, I guess you want to say that's the elephant print of the, of the gray on the box. Like, that right there is... I really, I'm really a big fan of the box. Um, from what I can see from them shipping it, uh, let's let's do that first. Let's go ahead and go over the box. This, this is what they gave me. That's what it came with. Scratch. Let's see. Uh, let's go ahead. You see on the box, it's box quality. Rip there. Got a little rip there. I ain't, I ain't gonna be too picky again. Ripped alone back there, ripped there. So it's not in the greatest quality when I say the boxes, you know, but what do you inspect? You know, whatever. It's not really the box I care for. It's more like the shoes. So you see, open it up. Tissue paper. Mm. More paper. You can see, you get a. sticker I got a couple of those floating around if y'all haven't seen any previ previous videos I've done this isn't my first time ordering from the goat so obviously I've, I trust ordering from the goat you know so before getting into this I will say order buying Offline, if you want to double check and make sure that the shoes you get are legit, there's many ways of doing it. You get black lights. You could go uh, sneaker stores. I know some sneaker stores do legit checks. You could take it there. There's also an app called Check Check. You can download, take pictures of it, get it there. So there's numerous ways. If you just don't want to take their word for it or, again, verification card that they send you. Got it upside down. Verification card that they send you telling you that everything is authentic. You don't want to take their word for it. There's many ways you could put yourself at ease. So that being said, you out here spending five, ten bands on a pair of shoes and you want to put yourself at ease to make sure. Check, check out. You black light tested. I'm pretty sure that YouTube videos, there's other ways you could see without just having to take their word for it because anybody could just get one of these poke holes and put it in the box and say it is what it is. But me, to, me dealing with the goat previously, like, I trust them. So there's no need for me to think that, oh, they showed me some fake shoes because I done bought numerous pairs of shoes from them and they've all been legit. So just a little FYI for those who's thinking about getting into it, who wants to buy shoes but don't know if you're getting legit ones, always many ways to check. So... Verification card, check. Uh, what we've been waiting for, the shoe. Ooh. 
like I said, when it re originally released in 91, it, of course, wasn't in this colorway. I uh, can't remember off the top of the head the exact colorway, but one thing they did, one thing that was different with the tag in the back, they removed when they first released the shoe. It was a Jordan. They removed the Nike emblem on the back and put the Jordan emblem. Uh, Jordan logo, I should say. Let's go over the shoe. Um, feel first. Let's say leather. Leather feels genuine. Like it's, it don't feel like no cheap leather. It doesn't buckle. You push it, bend it. Again, that's what the shoe is going to be. Good suede on the toe box. seen on some face where you rub the toe box and it's like it's peeling apart like there's no peeling apart it's nice good stitching don't look off I've been seeing a lot of a lot of them come out the factory with like extra glue stains and stuff like that that's that's normal you know we call those a little defective pair now I would say like this you get a little Something like that, that ain't nothing. You get a little pair of scissors, trim it off, be all good. It's nothing them big. Uh, that sole, that icy blue and white sole. Ooh, my goodness. It's something about that, that sole that just makes you want to keep it clean. Like, you don't want to get nothing. Don't want to scuff it. Don't want to drag it. You want to keep it just pristine. Like, ugh. Uh, let's see what the other one looks like. I say, uh, this video was supposed to come out, I ain't gonna lie, a week ago, I got the shoot, not even a week ago, um, well, yeah, today's Monday, I got the shoes last Monday, so I guess you could say a week ago, it came in the mail, I recorded a video, and like, half my head was like cut off, it was bad, so I had to re-record it, but with me working and having to kids and trying to you know it's busy so it's late one o'clock in the morning two here like so i was like kids sleep everybody sleep house quiet i'm gonna go ahead and knock it out because the first time i recorded the video man all you heard in the background was my son and his sword teen 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 oh my goodness but anyways other shoe say we're gonna get in that letter right there as you can see yeah. leather feels good like it feels like some good quality leather toe box again toe box feel good that smell feels good of course you know all they all come laced up like that like i'm not but good colorway i would say if i if i would have to grade it let's say nine out of ten okay I mean, 9 out of 10, you know, 1 out of 10. 10 being the best, 1 being you really don't care for it. Colorway. I would say the colorway is is a big 8, I'm 8 and a half, 9. I'm a big fan of the UNC colorway. I got the UNC one. The, I'm not going to say UNC. The university ones is about the same colorway. I'm a big fan of this colorway. So it's a big eight and a half, nine on the colorway. When it comes to quality, I'll say it's like eight. It's a good eight with the quality. Like the leather feels good. The toe box feels good. <clears throat> now, when it comes to the overall shoe, what would I grade the overall shoe? I'll say the overall shoe will probably be a seven and a half, seven and a half high eight, only because Jordan, I, I don't know how it's gonna look on my foot. I'm not gonna lie, like certain shoes look a certain way on my foot, and I feel like I could pull it off, and I can't. And when I started this channel, it was all I wasn't bringing you stuff that was just hype. It's stuff I like. That's what this channel is about. I love these shoes. I love the color. The color is what really pulled me in. And I was like, hey, 
Have I ever owned a pair of Jordan 6s? No. No. I've never owned a pair of Jordan 6s. Um, I'm say 1s, 4s, 13s, 12s are the ones I typically go for. 3s and all. I'm not saying I don't like them. I've just never purchased them. I wanted the UNC threes when they came out, but I, I, I wasn't able to cop them when they did. Um, I've been thinking about going back and copping them because I want to go ahead and complete the whole UNC package with the UNC fours because Jordan fours, again, are my favorite all-time Jordan fours. The bread fours that I have in the closet started the whole collection. Bread fours. I, I, again, I could tell you stories about the bread fours and me just looking in East Bay with my uncle and just seeing that iconic picture of him hitting that shot over Cleveland and him jumping in the air, kicking his legs out and him snapping that picture and me seeing the Jordan 4 on his feet for the first time. I had to have that shoe. So when I started my collection, the first shoe I ever got was the Jordan 4. But all around, I would say this is a good seven and a half, eight. Like, I... I Definitely gonna have to get some on, on on feet pictures just to see how I swag it out. Like just because I'm a, I, I'm I'm small, you know, I got the small frame, but I got cankles, so a lot of shoes and shit. It don't fit. It don't fit. It don't look. I'm not gonna say fit. It don't look the way I want it to look when I envision it in my head. It's like, but my cankles fuck it up. So hey, you know, I'm gonna rock them. Best believe these bitches are getting rocked. Like, yes, sir. I think I want to wait. Because they, you know, they still recently hot. You know, you still see everybody. I think I want to wait till it died down. My birthday in May. I think I, that's when I want to first break them out. I think I'm going to break them out in May, springtime. It's like a perfect spring color shoe. Get something to set it off with. Ooh. I'm supposed to be in Florida, too, for my birthday. So, ooh, man. Oh, yeah. But look, these may not be. These. May not touch the concrete until May. I'm telling you, that gave me perfect preparation to put the right outfit together and just, I ain't gonna say enough said, enough said. Um, but yeah, Jordan 6, you wanna see Jordan 6, as you can see, beautiful shoe. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, if Corona wasn't real, I would lick the bottom. But hey, you know, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. Um, as you can see, as I like I told you when I first started, I took a I took some time off. I took uh, some time off. Don't mean I, it didn't ne never meant I stopped buying shoes. I just had to take some time off for personal reasons. Um, I wasn't for sure if I was gonna get into all details with this, but um, but yeah, I'm I'm not really gonna do it right now. Not 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 right now. Like, yeah, if y'all wanna know. What the personal reasons was, drop a comment. I tell you, story time, get on into it. But uh, besides that, I got another shoe I wanted to bring because I wanted to do it then when I got it. But me taking the time that I needed, I didn't do it. But it's nothing better than to bring it now. Uh, Vapor Max. Everyday wear. Like I say, I'm not bringing you hype. I'm bringing you what I like. And this shoe here, as you could tell, I got it in December. It got some stains on it. But I wear this shoe every day. Everywhere. I feel like this is the perfect shoe when you put on sweatpants, uh, uh, tailored joggers or something like that. Perfect shoe to put on. I don't like this shoe with jeans. I hate seeing people wear vapor max with jeans i don't know why it's just my pet peeve even if it is a skinny jean i i take that back skinny jeans maybe maybe it, it depends on the vapor max it, de it depends on the vapor max okay I, I i shall say that it depends on the vapor max but i see a lot of people wearing with baggy jeans and Oh my God, you talk about grind my gears. Oh, that shit irks my nerves just to see baggy jeans with a Vapor Max. Like, bro, what the fuck is you doing? Like, whose man is this? Who, you let him come out the house? Like, but we're not getting into that. But yeah, 
gray, neon green with the blue. Oh my goodness. Like I say, everyday, everyday wear, comfortable shoe. See it clear, recycled material right here. They have a, I believe it's a waffle, it's a, it's a Trail 179. It's a Trail 179 and the whole bottom. The whole shoe is made out of recycled material. It's a dope shoe. I plan on adding that to my collection too, but yeah. This recycled material right here above the air bubble, I say per light. Only bad side I would say about this shoe is it squeaks. Like, and when I say squeaks, like, Boy, this shoe, it, 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 it's a squeaker. Like, if you step on something wet and you start, bro, it's, it, it's, it's a squeaker. But it's comfortable. It's a practical, everyday shoe. You can wear it to work. You can wear it to the gym. You can wear it to the stove. You can wear it to run errands. Like, it's a shoe you could just put on and go. So, yeah, that was that was a cop. I picked up um, over the break. uh there's another pair of shoes I picked up too, but we'll save that for the next video. Um, what is in store for K Smooth and his channel? Uh, I'm bringing you guys uh, vlogs, video vlogs. So those are to come. Uh, I got comedy videos that's coming. I got cooking videos that's coming. I know I said this once before when videos like, man, he said it, but um, they coming. Trust and believe I got the whole setup going like personal time everything I had going on made me realize like you only got now there is no tomorrow there is no later it's now so if you want anything done you trying to achieve anything you trying to reach a goal it starts now you can't wait for tomorrow so waiting not waiting I got Things in my mind is cooking. I just need to put it to pad. I need to put everything, get everything in motion, and it's gonna be there. So, by the time y'all see this, it should be what's today? Monday. It should be Tuesday, Wednesday. If you're seeing this any later, it's because you're not subscribed. So that's why you ain't catching it. That's why you're catching it after Tuesday, Wednesday, because you you ain't subscribed. So hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. That way you could get. All the links, all the notifications for all the hot vids. I just told y'all I'm going to be bringing y'all. So, I appreciate y'all for fucking with me. Till the next video. Peace.